spectacular debut. The Intercontinental Champion will look to keep his momentum going tonight against Sami Zayn's hand-picked opponent. Shoulders down. Immediately powers out. Going to take a lot more than that to keep this man down. Oh, the lock manages to counter. Up they go. Oh, atomic drop. Intercepts that attack with a knee right to the stomach. Jarring right hand. Somersault up prettier. And shoulders are down. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Oh my god, what a kick. Senton. Sammy looks to be maneuvering the lock toward the stage. And the lock's helpless after taking that blow from his own chain. And there it is. Rich Holland has brought out the lock safe. What the heck is their plan? Belly to belly suplex on the unforgiving stage. Now what are they gonna do? Is Sami Zayn trying to tip the safe over on top of the lock? Those things weigh like a thousand pounds. This is way worse than what the lock did to Sami. Our Intercontinental Champion is going to be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially with both of them pushing it now. I don't think I can watch this. Gabriel Slade is here. Thankfully, he's going to put an end to this. Yeah, Sami and Ridge want no part of him. Well, no idea if these two are friends. Maybe Slade just didn't want to see someone get squashed. Well, Lock certainly looks frustrated with himself, or Gabriel Slade, or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet and not getting peeled off the stage.
Here is your winner, the phenomenal one, C. Hey, you okay? It was almost really bad. Thanks for the assist, but I'm fine. It might not have looked like it, but I had things under control out there. Really? It looked more like you were about to get flattened by a thousand pound safe. I respect you wanting to handle your own business, but I meant it when I told you I'd have your back. Look, let's get this straight. I like to do things on my own. It's gotten me this far. Take it from someone who's been here a while. That's not gonna cut it in WWE. And whether you want my help or not, I heard we're teaming together next week against Sammy and Ridge Holland. There's been a change of plans. I'm going to face them on my own. You're really stubborn, aren't you? Like I said, it's got me this far. It's the man who might transform WWE forever, The Lock. The following is a handicap match. Introducing first from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Phenomenal One, C.M. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. Lock yourself to your seats. It's time for this man to go to work.
Ah, oh, time for more conspiracies. Michael Cole. Sami Zayn himself would say that's not very And there are see of you first from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds. Sami Zayn! Some call him the master strategist. Some call him the great liberator. I've even heard some call him Usi. But I call Sami Zayn a bona fide superstar. Well, I call him none of the above. Well, it's about time for Sami Zayn to put conspiracies to rest and actually prove himself. The Intercontinental Champion looks to make another big statement here tonight against Sami Zayn and Rich Holland and what should be an explosive two-on-one handicap match. The Lock doesn't seem afraid of anything, does he? Uh, to be an ignorant rookie, those were the days. Sami Zayn retaliates. Got unraveled on Zayn. at this point. He's turning the tables. What a right hand and then a somersault on Prettier. Oh, using a suplex to set up a cutter. This is some strength. Military press into the power slam. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. Left by the turnbuckles. Reversal, what a counter. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. of power. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. And that was a well-executed attack. Right, Up and chronoplex. <laughs> Lands in the drop zone. to do whatever it takes to survive. Sammy. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Ridge prevents that from connecting. And he barely evades. Oh, look at the, the pump handle. Oh, they slam. What distance. A hurricane run. Ridge gets the better there. He's showing it's not time for lying down. It's time for fighting back. Oh. 
Oh, using a suplex into a cutter. Nicely done. Reverse fireman's drop. Here's Zayn sent flying. Locke might be looking to fly. Taking flight. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. celebrating like it was. So, these interviews for the doc will be quick and easy. It's just like we're having a conversation. I've seen these before. I get it. Okay, good. So, a lot to catch up on. You debuted on Raw, won the IC title, almost got squashed by a half-ton safe, but then were rescued by an unlikely ally in Gabriel Slade. <laughs> rescued? What show were you watching? And to clear things up, Gabe and I aren't allies. I barely know the guy. Okay, let's not get hung up on semantics. Nonetheless. Sami Zayn was not happy that Shawn Michaels gave you the choice of how you'll defend your Intercontinental Championship. Is there any merit to Sami's complaints? I know I'm new here, but I also know that Sami Zayn will find a way to complain about anything. That's true. I once heard him complain that the production crew's box dinners were bland and uninspired. Really? Oh, okay, that was me. But you get the idea. Anyway, what's your choice for the rematch against Sammy? And give me some flavor, if you don't mind. Both Sammy and I have been knocked down the last few weeks, but now we're going to find out who's the last man standing. Nice, really felt the passion there. It's the future of WWE, The Lock. Tonight, 
continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. What an atmosphere for the Locks Premium Live Event debut. And
a matchup as the Intercontinental Champion defends his title against his biggest nemesis in WWE, Sami Zayn. Biggest nemesis in WWE? Who's the lock's second biggest nemesis? Give me a break, Cole. The guy just got here like 10 minutes ago. Well, he's already made more of a mark in the ring in 10 minutes than you did in 10 years, Corey. And I expect him to make a few extra marks on Sammy tonight. Yep, yep. Uh, 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 knew what was coming there. Uh, uh, using a suplex into a cutter. Nicely done. Vicious right forearm. On rolling elbow. Comes crashing down. Oh, basement clothesline. Ouch. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. But in a match like this, Michael, that is to be expected. And that failed to hit the mark. Oof. Clearly waiting for that. Oh, timely counter by Zayn. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. And Sammy dodges that one. A series of reversals. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Oh, forearm smash. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, this match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Spear! Spear! Absolutely spiked! DDT! It's getting close. The Rock is walking out the same way he walked Here's in. Here's your winner as and a still, champion. WWE Intercontinental Champion, the phenomenal one, CM. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Hey champ, I've been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity. Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. What's going on? So far, you've been living up to the office's expectations, but now it's time for a big test. We want the lock to headline a live event for the first time, defending the Intercontinental Championship. A live event? I'm not sure that's a big test. Let me finish. The live events in one of our top markets, LA. But there's always a lot of competition for the WWE Universe's entertainment dollar. 
takes a big name talent to put butts and seats there. You know, like when I main evented WrestleMania 12. Wasn't that in Anaheim? Technically not LA. Nothing gets by you. Anyway, if you can sell out a major arena in LA, you can do it anywhere, even Anaheim. So what do you think? I think I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great. We thought we'd let you choose who you want to main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory. We can just promote your appearance without an opponent. I think people have seen me face Sammy and Ridge enough. Time for a fresh matchup. Give me theory. For your sake, I hope your theory is correct. I'll see myself out. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in L.A. promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. That's news to me. And to be honest, that does raise the stakes a bit. The Rock's a huge deal, obviously. But I think there's room for both of us to succeed that night. Or at least I hope so. I should mention that it's not just a typical movie premiere. Rock's giving away a hundred brand new pickup trucks and anyone who attends is eligible to win. I heard fans were lining up weeks in advance. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. But I'll try my best to catch your match, too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, Weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory! All right, that's it! Come on, let's go!
So, how'd it go out there? The match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. So, not great. What do you chalk that up to? I thought facing Theory would be a fresh match people wanted to see, but maybe they wanted me to take on someone I had history with, like Sammy or Ridge. Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows?
As someone who knows a thing or two about growing pains in WWE, can I give you some advice? Go for it. Three words, ignore the haters. So you've seen Cameron Grimes and Happy Corbin chirping at me on social media. Chirpers gonna chirp, and they sure as heck chirped at me during my retribution days. You just gotta tune out the noise. Trust me. Oh, I don't trust anybody around here yet, but thanks for the tip. Hey, I get it. I didn't come up through the PC either. I know what it's like to feel like an outsider here. And I definitely know what it's like to find yourself in a costume you didn't pick. Doesn't mean you can't make it work for you. I can help you find your footing, if you're interested. What's in it for you? Never hurts to have friends, even for us outsiders. How about it? Sounds like more noise to me. No thanks. I'm good for now. Suit yourself. You know where to find me if you change your mind. You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off-screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the Click and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I was set up to fail with the whole rock publicity stunt happening the same night. You're lucky the building was half full. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? Not much recently. Unless you count riding Bobby Lashley's coattails. Exactly. I like where your head's at. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in RK Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE, when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type, and I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. 
I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. I've heard enough, and I like where this is headed. I'm ready to join Evolution. Good. You made the right call. I'm extremely confident in your abilities, but I want to give you a crash course in doing things the Evolution way. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow. And don't be late. I'll be there. Said, bring it!
Joining Evolution feels like a turning point in my career. I mean, everything before this felt big, but now it really seems like I'm on my way to the top. But do you think Randy Orton will be willing to share the spotlight with you? Can you trust him? I was skeptical of all this at first, but I'm trying my best to trust the process. Which is tough, since I know Randy's not always been the most straight-up guy, but I think he really wants to do this the right way. And that means stepping aside when the time's right and giving me the spotlight. Any clue who else will be joining this new evolution? Randy hasn't told me anything. I guess we'll all find out together. Someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. Interesting. What's this all about? We've seen these two team before, but I thought it was just a one-time thing. We heard the rumors surrounding Randy Orton. This must be the debut of his newly reformed evolution. Let's go. Led by Orton, Evolution is here on Raw. And they look ready to dominate. I'm having flashbacks to 20 years ago. 